So let's get to the show. I mean, that's that's why you're here, but it's really hilarious. Um, well, thank you. It really is. Um, and there's a lot of people who work to make that hilarious. Chuck being here is the executive producer of the show. So it's Fantastic. very much. It takes a village of production people and writers to make me look hilarious. And Chris Rock. And Chris Rock, yes, who's his own village, yeah. <laughs> right, exactly. So how would you describe it? Aside from it being completely and utterly, totally biased, unlike Fox News, what would you what would you say about the show? Uh, you know, I think it's uh, it's it's my attempt to process the world through comedy, you know. I think a lot of, uh, me, like a lot of people I know in the Bay Area, would sit around watching TV or reading articles and just be like, ah! And as a comedian, it's my job to turn, ah, into punchlines. And so we, totally biased, try to take all that, the frustration, and not make fun of it, but make fun out of it. Right. Which I think is a, you know, a subtle distinction, but one we're trying to hit. You know, right. we don't always hit it, but that's what we're aiming for. Yeah, but it comes through in a lot of the jokes. I mean, I wanted to ask you, Chuck, a lot of people are comparing this, as they do, to The Daily Show. Right. Um, do you think that's a fair comparison? What do you make of that comparison? We're much better than The Daily Show. <laughs> um, that hasn't come up a lot. Right. Now, uh, is it a fair comparison? Of course it is. We're doing comedy about the news, and, uh, but we have a different viewpoint. John, obviously, is a liberal and is great at his job. I would say Kamau's sensibility is maybe a little bit more progressive. And leftist is, actually yes. is according to Salon. Yes. I've heard that. Yeah, <laughs> heard that. No, I mean and I think feminist. Yeah, <laughs> I think there without the Daily Show, I don't think our show happens in the same way. I think, but without the Chris Rock show, our show doesn't happen. You know, because I think we're you know as Chris has said to me plenty of times, like you're just doing your version of this. Don't. It's not new. It's just our version of it. And so certainly there's been, been inspiration from the Daily Show. I'm just visioning an article somewhere tomorrow. <laughs> exactly, we're totally biased. Better, we're better than the Daily yeah. Show. Yeah. Uh, we're going to yeah. cut the interview after that yes, yeah. soundbite. <laughs> Perfectly okay. Uh, but yeah, so I mean, we certainly, John Stewart's a genius, Chris Rock is a genius. I'm happy to have Chris in my uh, corner, uh, you know, to help this push this along. And also, John Stewart's been very supportive. I mean, I've, I'd only met him after the show, but he, uh, after we went to see the Daily Show taping, and he brought us backstage, and they threatened to beat us up, but they didn't. So, yeah. you know, that's a start. Was Cole Bear involved? Colbert was not involved. Okay, good. Yeah, I don't know what he thinks about me. <laughs> Just want to get the facts right. But before all of this, the TV show, you know, before becoming a host of this... Um, You're talking about obscurity, yes. yes. Yes, when you were still... No, but you still were... You had a one-man show called the W. Kamau Bell Show. Uh, the W. Kamau Bell Curve. Curve, forgive me, ending yeah. racism in about an hour. Yeah. How did that work out? It worked out every night. You ended it every night. I ended it. It's just as soon as people left, racism would be outside waiting for them. Right. So if I could just lock the door and not get them to leave, we'd be fine. But so, it worked every night. So then we are post-racial since you've done this. And but again, we all live outside. If we, could, if we could all invite the world into my show, it would be fine. But since we're not, it's most racial, I think, as a friend of mine puts it. Yeah. Well, but speaking about inviting people to your show, uh, one thing that often comes up is the fact that you would kind of comp or, or give like a discount if someone brought someone from another race to your show. If you brought a friend of a different race, you got in two for one. That's amazing. Yes, not even Martin Luther King Jr. did that.